Season 13 of BSL. This is going to be Group D, D for death in this situation. Upper left-hand corner, we have Sheep starting as the Yellow Zerg, bottom right-hand corner. We have Exit starting as the Purple Terran. Exit, the winner of last season of Chobo League. Spoilers if you didn't already catch it. Go ahead and check those matches out. This is once again on Revolver, which uh, I guess I'll go ahead and just in case. Just in case you guys didn't see it on YouTube from the previous match, we got the eggs, which really make the natural expansion difficult to engage. I feel like it hurts early game aggression, or maybe, I don't know, in some instances helps early game aggression, depending on what's going on. Regardless, it completely messes with the meta across the board. The one meta I think that might remain stable in the midst of this is Zerg versus Terran, though. We'll see. Exit. Solid player. Sheep, I have not seen, but I I think I've seen games around. I think he's pretty decent. We'll have to see as these matches continue. I do want to give... It's it's kind of funny, because I think last match I did from the uh, from this grouping, I lamented that the names were all over the place <laughs> as far as um, who was whom. But it, it'd be, it ended up being advantageous, because the replays I ended up grabbing were not, in fact, spoiler-free. <clears throat> so, therefore, the losers matched the... Because I had to do the mental trend translation as far as what the so i guess glasses is half full sort of situation here so go ahead i guess do what you want there's a giant turd on this map <laughs> first time i'm seeing that huh yeah they just put a big lump big piece of poop right there i guess that is what that is right it's like even got like a maybe it's because they're tired of that artifact they're just like hey check it out anyway 12 hatch on this side <laughs> from sheep Looks like Isaac's going to go ahead and build his barracks interior to his base. On the opposite side, he's scouting bottom left hand first. We do see the drone scouting bottom right or bottom left first for sheep. So both players going to come across each other on second rotation. Spawning pool being plopped down. Extractor around the 207 mark. We'll see if sheep opts for the standard two hatch mutalisk play or if he's got something else up his sleeve. This is one of those maps where... I feel like because of the, the hold position lurker might be something that might make a comeback. Just because of all of the ramp locations in the middle of the map with that cross where you can where the marines have to traverse the medic marine balls have to traverse the high ground. Exit playing this very light, producing only a single marine and already dropping down his command center. Did he get the scout off? It looks like he did get the scout. He saw the 12 hatch, uh, which is probably why he opted to do so. Exit playing a typically playing a very flexible style. Four Zerglings being produced. Might wait for the eggs to go ahead and see whether he's even going to build additional marines. So we do have, so it looks like the drone, the drone scout was chased down, but the drone able to walk into the base. See the, the, the fact that things were light. It looks like it's just going to be tech to layer, though. Exit kind of walking in, trying to get some damage. Actually, is he going to get a drone kill? Almost got a drone kill. Ends up losing his SCV scout instead, but got that drone down to three health. Almost. Almost. Marines out on the front. Actually, if these four Zerglings manage to catch it in position, it looks like a third Marine is being produced. Engineering Bay dropping down very early. It looks like Exit is going for the build we've seen, which I feel like is the best response to the modern two-hatch Mutalisk uh, with the third base play, which is to get that Engineering Bay early, play a little bit lighter with Marines to start, get level one weapons, and just have that initial ball that hits harder and expends more mutalists, and then play the map control game from there. Zergling going to go ahead and march out, see what it can see. Lair is finished. Looks like we are going to, in fact, see the drone building a spire. No movements towards a third just yet. We do have an overlord hanging out over that three o'clock. It's going to go ahead and move in position over that edge. A bunker being, one thing is with that style going a little bit lighter on the barracks to start, you need to be careful about Zerglings attacking your natural expansion. Still no second barracks from exit. Dropping the academy. So actually going Engineering Bay Academy before second barracks. And this barracks has remained mostly silent. So he's just got six Marines. Let's see if he can get a sufficient attack force to deal with the Mutalisk attack that will be incoming shortly. Lair about halfway finished. On that side of the map. And Sheep going to go ahead and grab the expansion in the upper right-hand corner. Which I like with Mutalisk play because 
if you're, you know, if you're going to rely on Mulesis anyway, you might as well make the Medic Marine Army march as far away as possible, rather than being able to just kind of do a hop and a skip between all of the bases. Second barracks being built, level one weapons, about halfway finished. Stimpak being researched, the Zerglings starting to move out towards the front. Spire finishing. Looks like there should be enough for the initial uh, handful. Oftentimes Zerg will wait until they've got the eight Mutalists to go for the engagement. Uh, so they can kind of double shot those turrets as they're engaging. The Zerglings testing that front. Looking to see the lay of the land to allow the mules to engage. Three turrets being planted in this natural expansion. I think they wanted to test whether that bunker was filled or not. I think they're wondering where the re they're just trying to tempt those medic marines forward. There's only a single turret at the main. The one disadvantage of going lighter like this, now exit trying to grab additional barracks, is you have a lot of territory to cover with not a lot of medic marines. And exit was playing particularly light on the marine count. Now you have the five mulesks incoming. And honestly, with these zerglings and mulesks, if they dive down and engage this, they might be able to just pick off what's here because they don't know that there's enough turret support to deal with as few medic marines as there are. However, that count is going to go rapidly. Sheep, not quite cohesive with those mutalisks. I think he missed that timing just a little bit. Another turret being planted down. Exit, <clears throat> again, concerned about this. Range now being upgraded. I think Exit's going to be okay, though, as long as he can continue to keep his macro up. Taking down one of his turrets... <laughs> to the north, just had one too many. So, level one weapons now finished. The mutal is grouping up as a clump of eight. Three turrets in the background. So I think Exit has managed to buy himself the time he needed. The mutal is diving into the main, able to take one, getting two SCV. He's pretty decent attack, three down. And now dropping on top, able to halt that factory as well. And the great attack from Sheep. Able to pick off several units and just dive in and dive out. Exit not having a large enough spread to deal with this. And more Mutalists are making their way forward. I think Sheep wants to win this on Mutalists alone. Additional turrets being taken down by Exit. Just feeling like he didn't have the, the spread enough. The Marines and Medics pushing forward. Looks like they're going to find one Mutalist out of position. Exit needs to get out on the map and yeah, provide some degree of threat. Actually able to pick off two free Mutalists. But yeah, Exit needs to get out on the map to provide some degree of threat so that Sheep has to respond. Sheep engaging. And Exit not drawing back. Never mind, he's drawing back on delay. These Mutalists are feasting on SCVs in the interim, though. Getting all sorts of damage done. And there's not a lot of Medic Marines to engage here. And they're once again going to go ahead and exit to the north. Ooh, never mind. They're going to sit on top of that Medic Marine ball with that level 1 weapons. And all of a sudden, Sheep... Where he was in a great position in this match, accidentally attacking his one, <laughs> his own repair turret, catching the mutalists out of position and obliterating them. So six mutalists in position again. There is three gas up, but all of a sudden exit with the supply count lead. Three something colonies on the front. This looks like it is the Crazy Zerg style, by the way. You have that Queen's Nest down. More mutalists being produced, so Sheep just wants to keep this Medic Marine Ball back for as long as possible, get enough gas, move straight to Ultralisk. I don't see an Evolution Chamber yet. Oftentimes, Evolution Chamber is a key component. We do see a Hydro Sten and Lurkers, actually, as well, so maybe Sheep, upon losing those additional mutalists, is thinking twice about this. He's engaging with these mutalists. Again to the main. Some reinforcements are going to make their way down. Two starports in production. But this Medic Marine Ball just going to walk into that expansion, that upper right, and wipe everything out there. So it's going to be potentially a base trade for a base trade. Let's see if Exit can get more reinforcements to deal with this. There are a lot of SCVs just being obliterated in this base. One starport being lifted up. That turret, no group repair. It being wiped out. So Sheep with another grouping of Mulesks going to be able to pick off a lot of key units and get a lot of damage done. But that was, it was at a cost. That's going to be the third gas expended. Let's see if Exit brings these Medic Marines back to home base to try to reestablish his front. Or if he's just going to continue with this attack at the main. Both players drawing blood. I think Sheep's getting the better part of this. It looks like he might actually be able to take a barracks out. Exit pressing forward before he had a Radiate or Science Vessels. So yes, able to take out the base, but ends up losing production at his main. He's down to 20 
SEVs. About equivalent on the opposite side from sheep. And sheep continuing to rain down all sorts of hellfire on Exit's base. Looking for briefly remobilizing now that there's a sizable medic marine force. And again, losing more mutilisks in the return. Let's see if he can preserve them. Keep in mind, these do have level one weapons. And finally, it looks like these mutilisks are actually pinned back now. One picked off there. Two are weak, able to get an additional attack. Mule still sitting inside this base, trying to pick off the Marines inside the SimCity. Some medics are exposed. They're going to be able to heal each other. But so many weak Mutalisks, and Sheep is just, I feel like, over-dedicating. Down to three Mutalisks, and that is going to negate the rest of this attack. Also an Overlord wandering in. That's going to get picked off. So Sheep, maybe, yeah, overextending. I thought he actually had an advantage there for a moment, but upon losing all of that, I'm not sure anymore. He's down to two bases, so it's two base... Terran, although the SCV count has been somewhat obliterated, versus two base Zerg, a dropship being built, no science vessel overhead, and there are lurkers incoming. The last of the Mutalists being wiped out overhead. Lurkers continue to press up. I take that back. Still a handful of lurkers trying to press in. They're heavily damaged, though. Let's see if that turret gets repaired. Exit drawing back with those medic marines. He needs to be careful, otherwise those mutalists could end up encamped at his natural expansion. That could potentially be game. The lurkers moving up. They're not burrowing in time. And that medic marine ball just getting obliterated. One lurker remaining. The rest of the units in the bunker. Defensively, only one lurker there. A handful of medic marines wondering what happened to all of my brethren in the middle of the map. And this is turning into an ab... This is like a bloody fist brawl at this stage. Exit, 32 SCVs, needs to keep the economy rolling. He's loading up a dropship. There is a single Mutalist that might be able to... No, sorry, there's still a grouping of Mutalists that might be able to engage this dropship. But he needs to worry about defending his natural expansion. If more Lurkers end up here... If you, get, if you end up with Lurkers and not enough detection at the natural expansion, that oftentimes is it for Terran. And currently, Exit, I don't feel like he has enough Marines to even defend against the Mutalist harass that Sheep's been pushing out at the main. Ironically, it looks like one Marine did manage to sneak out to go ahead and potentially deny that nearby third. And what this might turn into is just kind of the, kind of like a late game boxing match where both players are just slapping each other effectively with what energy they have. That Lurker diving forward, getting wiped out. Finally, a Science Vessel in production. I'm not sure if Irradiate has been researched or not. The Mutalisks pushing up, wiping out that Medic Marine Ball once again, with sufficient numbers and that level and that weapons upgrade, exit still grouped up over that bunker, that natural expansion. Sheep, being a bit sheepish, wants to pick off this science vessel, but currently has total map control, total air dominance over exit's base. And is going to potentially win this on Mutalisks alone. Exit needs to find a moment. The lurker is marching in. They're able to get on top of the the barracks, and that is going to be GG. Mutalis able to take out that turret. The SCVs evacuating. The science vessels in the air, but for how long? It's going to be able to escape to that natural expansion. And sheep continuing to pour on the pressure. More units making their way across. Did I miss a drop? I think I missed the drop. Well, that happened. Sheep lost all of his drones at his main. So this is an absolute brutal slugfest. So I missed it. So critical moments, both directions. Defiler Mound is up. The Hive is under assault. But if Sheep can just draw the units back, that could be it. It's This is going to be a close one. Medic Marines wiped out. Exit has nothing here. His SCV is getting obliterated. Sheep down to six drones, but I think he has enough in the air. Where he and on the ground that he is going to be able to win this match. A single, an irradiate on a single mutalisk, unfortunately, for Exit right there. Killing his own mutalisk for being, for betraying the cause. Exit continuing to pour on the pressure. If he can get those lurkers camped on Exit's barracks, he will end up winning. The lurkers reburrowing. One of them taken out. A turret desperately trying to get in position. That science vessel at risk. The mutalisk wiped out, though. Two lurkers remain. And that might be it. That might be all that 
Sheep has, the hive is down, the hive will extend being assaulted, more mutalists flooding in, there are two science vessels, one of them is going to have an irradiate momentarily. If sheep keeps those mutalists spread though, should be okay, the barracks trying to build additional attack forces, if exit can somehow hold on, he has managed to completely obliterate sheep's economy and take out all of his tech. Sheep is can build queens essentially at this stage and maybe zerglings. So let's see if Exit can just continue producing to stay in this match. A single Lurker left. The SCV trying to attack. Hero SCV kills the Lurker. A Hydralist is in here. And it looks like the SCV is going to engage the Hydralist. Is there going to be an Irradiate? And with that Exit morphing a desperate Lurker egg at the end. The Marines grouping up with the SCVs to assault it. Repairing the, the science vessels overhead. A sneaky hatchery has been grabbed in that upper right hand base. So it's not quite over yet. But Exit re-establishing his base. He still has second at... But no, there's GG from Sheep. What a match! Exit wins it through sheer tenacity. There were multiple points of that match where I thought Exit was completely out of it because just Sheep having... Uh, getting better exchanges, having the unit control, uh, having just air dominance, having the lurkers in the natural expansion. Usually that's game. But Exit with the back end drop... <laughs> And Sheep not being either too distracted or just not having the units to respond. Ends up dropping the match. Exit moves to the winner's match. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That I think that this might be the best match of the season. Which is unfortunate <laughs> being that it happened in the round of 32. But what a game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.